and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Friday the 19th of August and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Bangladesh A-Levels won the series and in our feature for this evening, Bath United Football Camp closes. It takes break and I'll be right back. We represent the students of 4A1 Room 2 and you are watching NTV. CSS, we live and in charge. I'm back and we start with cricket. The Bangladesh A team leveled the ongoing one day series versus the West Indies A team on Thursday. Batting first, the Bangladesh team scored 277 in their allotted 50 overs and then reduced the West Indies A team to 233 for nine when the 50 overs were completed. They have now tied the series one all. Summarized scores Bangladesh A 277 for six in 50 overs. Sheik got 103, Raman 62, Brian Charles picked up 2 for 45, Sherman Lewis 2 for 50, Bangladesh A won that game. Well, West Indies A batting got to 233 for 9 in 50 overs, Joshua De Silva 68, Tajina Ryan Shandapal 38, Brian Charles 32 not out, Teddy Bishop 31, Mugdho he picked up 3 for 32, and Raja picked up 2 for 44. Bangladesh A won by 44 runs. We'll take this break, and when I come back, we'll have our feature for this evening. It's very important that you understand this. If you are overweight, the overweight is a symptom of a problem that has to be corrected first before effective weight loss can occur. If you are overweight, you cannot think about losing weight. That's not the problem. You have to correct the problem that has caused the weight gain in the first place. It all starts with nutrition. <laughs> so if we say that belly fat is a sign of insulin resistance, that means your receptors are clogged. Clog. Our body's not assimilating calories as efficiently as it should. Mm -hmm. That problem has to be corrected first. first. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or your visits to the gym will make no use. <laughs> your visit to the gym <laughs> will not be effective. For the full program, tune into Nevis Television, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just before the news at 7 p.m. Welcome back and tonight we have football in the spotlight. The Bath United Football Club concluded its annual football camp at the Bath Village Playing Field on the morning of Thursday, 18th August. Long-serving coach of the club and chief coordinator of the program, Alex Claxton, chaired the proceedings. Is it the end or it is just the beginning of good things? Okay, did you have fun this week? Yeah. And last week? Yeah. You ready for another week? Yeah. Okay, we want to thank everybody for being here. All the players. Little ones, medium, a little bigger, a little taller, a little higher. We want to thank everybody for coming out for the past two weeks. And we want to also thank the parents for allowing the children to be out day after day. It has been two weeks of fun for you, two weeks of pressure for us as coaches, parents, but two successful week nonetheless. It's always good to work with young people, work with children to help them to grow and develop in whatever talent, whatever skills, whatever ability they have. However, it's also important for you to understand that you make it no way in life, whether it is in sports, at the workplace if you do not have the right mindset, the right attitude, and good behavior. We have seen a combination of everything, but we're still here to guide, we're still here to instruct, we're still here to make sure that you are guided on the right path. We started off with 31 participants on day one, 
the two, it increased to 51, and the numbers kept climbing. It was like every day somebody was asking, is it too late for my son or my daughter to come? And if you know me well, the answer was always, no, it's not too late. Only thing is that there were more pressure on the coaches. And I must commend Alexandra Richards, who has been really the coordinator for the camp. OK. Grand entrance, grand entrance, grand entrance. And Kenwin Collins, who have been very, very instrumental and helpful as well. To the parents, thank you. To the media, thank you. We have some certificates that will be given out to all the participants. We also gonna have a festival next week. You'll get the date, the time when we have the festival, and that time we'll be giving out school supplies, compliments sponsored by Apple Cider. This time I'm going to ask Mr. Raymond Smith to come and give a few remarks on behalf of the Bartonet Football Club. The president was around and still waiting for entrance, but Mr. Raymond Smith will come just in case and give a few remarks. Day everyone. It's a pleasure to be here to represent not just the executive of BART, but the whole community of BART. Um, it started way before our time, because if as a parent, what's the first word you start saying? And, and this is a question to the parents. What's the first word you start saying when you're, when you're having a baby? Now this, is what, this, this question is for the parents, the ladies especially. The, the first word when, when you're having, when you're making a baby, the first set of words you start saying on a daily basis. No. Okay, let me make it simple. The first set of words that a, that a mom, when they're making a baby, the first set of words you start saying, it's kicking. And here, here's where the kicking process starts. And because of this kicking process, that we are here today to say that we have a small grassroots program that is assembled here at BAD that we continue on a daily basis. I don't want to say on a two weeks. I don't want to say on a summer program. I want to say on a daily basis that we, 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 that we have done over the past years. And that with, with this type of progress, uh, this type of program, we have boast about at least two persons making the national team, not just that in the Nevis team, the national team, sink its Nevis, to travel abroad, whether it's under 13, under 14, up to senior level. We have somebody representing from this program under the Bath United status. And one of the most important things, we just have to give kudos, not just to Alex, but I don't want to single out Alex. I want to single out all the coaches and the parents that would have contributed from day one to the success. Because it's not an easy task. Alex, is a, Alex of all persons, works for himself. And it's not easy to give up time to come and do such a program. I, I often wonder how he get it done. But at the end of the day, it starts with love. And I think that is what fills Alex Hart, Alex Hart today, and plus the other coaches. Because with his, with his guidance, I don't think that we would have had this number here today. And what I can say is that we talk on a daily basis and there are a number of things he's asking. This person wants to contribute. This person wants to, to be a part of the success. And I said to him that no problem. Don't turn back anyone. Because the person that you turn back 
might just be the wrong person. So I want to thank, at least, I want to thank the, the parents. Because without the parents, the kids would not have been able to be here today. Also, I want to thank the, the, the sponsors, more so apple cider. And I said apple cider, thank you and apple cider. Because the, the little things that we are not seeing here today, we have to give a special round of applause to Funky and the Apple Cider Crew. We also want to thank the sponsor of the uniform. And I'll give you a story behind the sponsor of the uniform. Because of the success that we, have, we would have achieved over the years, a gentleman by the name of Robert Maxwell, he have not been on the pitch, not one single day up to today. But he have heard through, apple, through Frankie and the apple cider of the, the tremendous work that Alex and the coaches have been doing on the field. And he said, yes, I want to be on board. And it's just a matter of days before this program, a call came in. Alex, pick up some uniforms from Apple Cider. And these are the uniforms that the children are here wearing today. I want to say thank you to Maxwell. For, for the media, we want to thank Curtis also for being here from the start and his daily attendance. The refreshment and the other supplies that we would be that you get on a daily basis. We want to thank Reliable Motors, Carl and his staff. We also we want to say thank you to Buddy's restaurant the, over there in Charleston. They have been with and also Chrome Bakery. And all, the, and all those who would have contributed to the success of this program and the continuing success. I, I think the coach asked if we should close for this. But I think we should continue. We'll take a break, but then I think we'll continue in the afternoon. So you can still bring your kids at the afternoon. So his work is not being completed as yet. So I want to thank everybody who would have contributed to the success of this grassroots program. Because this is exactly where it started. If I didn't call your name, it's not a willful act of not calling your name, but there's so many sponsors. If I stop here, I can all night tonight, I'll still be calling him. I want to thank each and every kids that are here today. I hope you'll, you'll learn a lot, and I hope that you continue to contribute to the success of Bath United Football Club. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We want to thank Mr. Raymond Smith for thanking us. Our biggest stakeholders, and we ask that you continue to support the program. We ask that you continue to allow your children to come out and be a part of something that is wholesome, something that is positive and something that will contribute towards the overall development. As mentioned earlier, we have had a history of producing the, the women's program. We have had a number of persons who have been successful. And even at this point in time, we have Nathan Bowers, who traveled to Santo Domingo to take part in the in the um, Caribbean or uh, the CONCACAF series, and we congratulate him. We know that quite a number of other under 14 players were capable and should have been in, in the team, but I know that when the time comes for the under 15 national team, those same players who, who have missed out on an opportunity, they would be successful the next time around. And so let's continue to work hard. Don't get discouraged, youngsters. Continue to work hard. 
because I know some of you are going to make the Honor 15 team. Justin Nanton. Alondras Osborne Ramirez Alondras Osborne Ramirez Junior Osborne Ramirez Amir Paris Silan Paris Amara Paris. Aiden Walters. Aiden Springett. Bethia Barry Kajne Keynes Zaire Jeffers Zenaira Jeffers. Congratulations. Jalen Hanley. Congratulations. <laughs> Antoine Percival. Romero Hanley Devon Matthew Aden Four or Aden Anna Jones, <laughs> the 
Marika Kendall. Brianna Miranda. Congratulations. Anjani New. Lachelle Congratulations. Ariel Herbert. Kamaya Daniel, not here. Destiny Hussein. Oh, Kyrie. Congratulations. Congratulations. Lamar J. Atherton. Congratulations. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Kajali Archibald, Kajali Archibald, <laughs> Rajan Rollins, Andresia Slater. Andresia Slater. Adelai Sigasia. Malikwa Pete Malikwa Pete Janaya Pari Congratulations Jaheem Beaton
Trace and Beaton. Congratulations. Kashim Taylor. Kadeem Taylor. Congratulations. Ethan Herbert. Niall Gishad. Kayandre Hamilton. Congratulations. Gerando Huggins. Giovanni Hamilton. Congratulations. Sentiwali Gishad. Jamarian Hamilton. Congratulations. Marvin Hamilton. J. Powell. Congratulations. I Randy Byron. Kimani Newton. Kimani Newton. Carice Farrell. John Jeffers. Congratulations. Anthony Steven. That brings us to the end of the certificate giving ceremony.
that's our package for this evening and indeed for the week. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and a sacrifice. Have a good night and a great weekend.